You tell me you're scared You tell me you're weak But I know you're stronger Than what you think Guys, well, we've come to the north rim of the Grand Canyon. However, the conditions have been just not good for landscape photography. Just bluebird skies, not a, not a cloud in the sky at all, which is uh, typically our luck when we kind of <laughs> when we make a long drive out here. Uh, we drove about seven hours from Phoenix. Uh, so what we're gonna do instead right now is peak fall colors here. So with all the beautiful viewpoints of the Grand Canyon that are around here, we decided to stick with the trees. So Chris right now is taking some photos here. Uh, I haven't found anything yet in this area, but we're gonna continue on to an area we saw driving in in the Kaibab Plateau that has a, a big burn area with a lot of uh, birch trees and aspen trees, a lot of fall colors that are kind of in this dead forest area. So it seems kind of interesting. We're gonna head that way, uh, spend the night, and maybe shoot in the morning for sunrise. So that is our plan for this video. We'll make it through. So I found a little sapling here that's kind of being lit up by the sun from kind of the back uh, side and so the trees behind it, the pine trees behind it are dark green and they're not lit up, they're in shadow. So what I'm looking for here is just kind of a, an isolated subject like this little sapling and a dark background, a very moody uh, image. And I think I found exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and snap the photo here. I'm at about, uh, I'm about 180 millimeters, uh, 1 400th of a second, f2.8, and I'm at ISO 250. Now, what I, the reason why I'm at ISO 250 is because I wanted to get that shutter speed about 1 400th because there's a lot of wind right now. And, uh, you know, all those little small, uh, leaves on the sapling are you know blowing a lot so I want to try and freeze that action I want everything pin sharp so I am uh, like I said just kind of isolating this photo It's probably going to be maybe a four by five vertical crop or maybe a square and uh, yeah just absolutely beautiful little scene here very simple and um, two second timer Oh, there we go. All right time to move on we got a little bit of driving to do before we get to the area we really want to go to so Back in the truck and I'll over. follow you through the black and the blue. Whatever the mountain will come to the next. Honey, I'm with you through the Alright guys, well we've come to this beautiful um, kind of burn area in this forest with there's kind of spotlit with uh, you know patches of color here and there. I don't know if we have photos here. It's um, it's a it's a tough place to shoot. It's so interesting to the eye. You know, you got these really kind of uh, moody and, and creepy trees because of the burn, and then you have you know these dead trees that are really tall, and the sun's kind of hitting it. So I have two trees right here that are taller than everything else, and um, everything else kind of is a lot lower and darker. The sun's starting to set, so just these trees are being hit. Uh, it's a real simple scene and uh, what I'm trying to do is just make it so these trees are the only things lit. These are the two subjects. I'm placing them at different spots. So I'm placing them kind of like this in the scene. So you got one on one third of the, of the image and then on the top right third you got another, um, another one. So I've put up my, my, I put up my grid line just to kind of line them up. I'm probably going to do a square crop on this. Like I said guys, it's just a very simple scene. Two trees lit up, everything else kind of dark around it. And uh, so everything's kind of at, you know, everything's in infinity. So I'm at F8, 1 15th of a second, ISO 64. I'm shooting at 200 millimeters, two second timer. And uh, like I said, probably gonna do a square crop on this one. Alright guys, so I have this really beautiful shooting directly into the sun 
I got some trees back here that are being backlit. It's a very soft scene because uh, that light is kind of bleeding over the entire landscape. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is get it right when the sun gets down, right at the horizon. Get these trees backlit. It almost reminds me of a safari. I mean, just kind of these really tall pine trees um, that are kind of out in the middle of a bunch of dead trees. So it's, they stick out a lot. Uh, it's really a beautiful scene. I'm probably going to have to exposure bracket because, like I said, I'm shooting directly into the sun. And uh, I'm not sure if I want to get a sun star or not on this. And also my sun flare is really bad, so I'm probably going to have to take a shot where I'm kind of blocking out the sun to get rid of that sun flare and then just blend it later on in Photoshop. You say you're afraid I wish you could see that Alright, so I think both of us had a, you know, a bit of a challenge shooting this area. It's just, uh, like I said, so interesting to the eye, this burn area. Uh, with these dead trees that are still here that are like extremely interesting mm -hmm. uh, with some of the fall colors kind of spotted throughout but um I, don't know, I think both of us kind of struggled a little bit yeah it was uh, it was hard um but once you you concentrated on the details it, uh, yes. i don't know how about you but yes. um, for me it was like yeah that was a good thing Yes, so uh, I think we're going to call it a video. So what we're doing right now is we're probably going to drive back to Page, uh, get a hotel for the night, and then kind of, uh, because of these conditions, guys, what we're doing is we came out here to the Grand Canyon to shoot the Grand Canyon, but uh, we didn't want to tie ourselves to that because the conditions aren't very good. Um, you know, there's no clouds in the sky or anything like that. Not that we couldn't get a shot, but I think uh, us deciding to shoot fall colors instead, not worrying about the sky or anything like that, mm -hmm. Uh, we're a bit more flexible, so what we're going to do is get a hotel and then we're going to look at kind of the weather, see if there's anything around the area uh, we can go and shoot and just kind of go from there. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Cheers! Wherever you're going, I'm going to. I'll follow. Your brain.